Habibu Sore had no time to gather her belongings as she fled barefoot from gunmen approaching her village. But she did have one vital load, unborn twins due any day. Soon after arriving at a nearby town in northern Burkina Faso, she gave birth. Her escape from violence was over. Her battle with hunger had just begun. Just to have the bare minimum to survive is very hard. We don't eat enough and we have nothing to live from like we used to in the village. It's 16 months since Habibu fled and gave birth. Her boys, Hassan and Hossein, weigh seven kilograms each, the same as a healthy four-month-old. It's an escalating situation across Burkina Faso and the wider Sahel region, where militants with links to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State have killed thousands. The bloodshed has worsened food shortages in a region already hit by poverty, climate change and the pandemic. The United Nations says over half a million under five in Burkina Faso are acutely malnourished, and the World Food Programme in October described more than 10,000 people as one step short of famine. Aminata Zabre is a midwife at a clinic in Kaya, where Habibu now lives. She says many of the mothers she sees are suffering mental and emotional scars. Some of the women here have been psychologically affected. So how can a woman who was psychologically affected get her child out of a cycle of malnutrition? The clinic is being overwhelmed by malnutrition. Before the crisis, it had around 30 child patients. Now it's 500. But at least it's open. The violence has closed dozens of health facilities and about 200 others are operating at minimum staff levels, government figures have shown. And though many civilians are now relying on food aid, Humanitarian agencies warn that they cannot reach some of the worst-hit areas.